All right, so we'll put some door stops. I'm just gonna install. So normally the doors come with the, the blocks that come on the, the frame, on the pre-hung. So we just knock those right off. Knock those right out of the way. We pre-cut these to kind of match the sides of the jams, which are cut at about 81 inches. So we pre-cut the sides. You'll notice on the ends, one of them has an eased edge and one of them has an eighth radius. You want to make sure that the eighth radius or the one that has more of a round edge is away from the door as we install it. So we check the thickness of the door, which we can do here, is uh, inch and three eighths. So we know that that's most interior doors are inch and three eighths, some are inch and three quarter, or if it's custom door, whatever. Um, so right at the latch, we're going to go inch and three eighths over. And then I'm going to use uh, 15 gauge, two inch nails. You can use, you can use 18 gauge, at least two inches. Um, I, it doesn't matter either way, but I'm going to use a 15 gauge. It has a lot of folding power. So right here, we go to that mark. You want to come on the other side here. So we're going to push this right up tight to the top of the door jam. And we're going to put it right on that line at inch and three eighths. So right on that line, we're going to put one nail in it right there. Now I'm going to take the door panel. I'm going to shove it right tight to the door. And we're going to make sure that the door, you don't put pressure on it. You just let it touch the door, just barely. And try your best to hit the, uh, the shims that we have installed on the door frame. So we're going to go right there. So just gently touching the door with the stop, we're going to put a nail on it. Don't put pressure on it. Just gently touching the door panel off of this door. That's that side. When I do this side, the door shut, I take a pencil and I just draw it. There's different ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. And then you got the line of where the door panel is exactly. Now we want to have at least uh, a heavy sixteenth, so I'm thinking about like an eighth. More the merrier when it comes to the gap, because when they add paint and primer and everything else, it adds a bunch of thickness where the door will actually rub on that back door stop. And it starts making noise, so you want to make sure there's a gap between the door panel. So if you see the pencil mark on this side, we're going to leave about an eighth inch gap there as it goes. So a little bit of a gap, and I'm just going to tack that in at that consistent gap. And now that one, when the door shuts, should have a gap consistently down the bottom, down to the bottom. And this one right here is actually a little off. And I'll have to get that again later. But you want to have that consistent gap so that that door doesn't touch the paint <laughs> when it comes down. Make sure that gap is there. And then with these, I just cut the interior in between. I don't miter the joints just because everything's flat. If it was uh, colonial style, you have to miter the joints or some other profile. But with flat style, you can do a butt joint. Tack the two ends, shut the door panel, make sure it looks consistent. Eyeball that consistently, tack it in. That's door stops.